All right, this is Mr. Jeep Addict again. Uh, I just wanted to give you a walk around of my JL Rubicon. Um, I have really loved this Jeep. It's been a lot of fun for us. Uh, the family loves it. We drive it quite a bit. Uh, it by far has the most miles on it. Um, what, well, let me tell you a little bit about it. So it has the uh, factory Mopar uh, lift on it with the Fox shocks. So not, nothing too extreme there, just a couple inches. Um, I put uh, Cam C wheels on it, uh, red to match the Rubicon accents. Uh, my wife loves to cut out vinyl stickers, so she's done some she's done some uh, some Jeep tattoos for it already. Uh, my daughter bought me some mirrors and uh, foot pegs for it for Christmas this year. So we put those on there. Uh, interior wise, we have the uh, pretty standard Rubicon stuff, but no point in really going through it. Um, I do love my phone mount there. It's just, it's, it's wonderful um, to put the phone up there. It's, you know, if you have to look at it, which you shouldn't look at your phone, but if you do, you, you've got, uh, it's right there in your line of sight, so you're not, uh, taking your focus off the road too much. Uh, leather interior. Uh, we do have a mat in the back, which is really nice. I highly encourage you to get a mat in the back. And we have the Alpine stereo, which I really like. It's a nice sounding, really loud, um, just just a great sounding stereo. Of course, we do have the, uh, the crack through the windshield. I think out of my four Jeeps, uh, three of them need new windshields. The only one that doesn't need any windshield is the Mojave because, as I said, it's just got less than a thousand miles on it. So, uh, got, gotta love that. So some of the upgrades I've done on this, obviously I've, I put the Baja design lights, uh, the LP6s up front. Uh, they are very expensive in terms of lighting, but wow, they are, they are fantastic. They're incredible lights. Um, to be honest, when I purchased them, I saw the LP6. I think I was looking, shopping on one of the websites and it said, LP6 light, uh, 400 and some odd dollars. I ordered it thinking that I was ordering both lights. And when I got here, there was only one light. So I had to go spend another uh, $400 ordering the other light, but uh, very pleased with the purchase. Um, I don't know that I will spend that much on lighting again. But uh, they are fantastic. On one of the other Jeeps, I use the LP4s, which I really like as well, and probably go that that route. Uh, we have a Smitty built winch, nothing fancy. Um, it, we've used it a few times to help get people out of snow when we've been in Idaho uh, in the winter. Uh, we've got the Factor Factor Five flat link on it, and my little alien dude that I always keep up there from my Alien Shade. Um, some of the other upgrades we've done to this, yeah, it's a little tough to see some of it, but uh, I've got the, the, the Falcon steering stabilizer. Um, I did the adjustable version. I think next time I probably wouldn't do the adjustable version. I think in the two years I've had it, I've maybe adjusted it once, uh, maybe twice, just to see what it did, but I've never really used it so um, I do have the Yeti track bar and tie rod end uh, really like really like them I man when I put them on there this the, the difference it made in the steering was just uh, incredible the stock uh, Jeep products just uh, weren't weren't living up to standards so so I do have the synergy sector shaft brace on this um, after all the Yeti adjustments and changes and uh, the new uh, Rough Country track bar, it really didn't make as much difference as, uh, as I was hoping. Of course, by that point, this, the, it was steering really well, so um, I did put it on um, just as a security measure, uh, but I don't think it's, it's made a huge difference, but um, it does add some strength there. Uh, I'm running, I'm running, as I said on my other video, I'm running the 37, 1250 Nidor Ridge Grapplers. Uh, I haven't had these on very long, really like them. 
um, but I've got to get it re-geared. I know a lot of people say, oh, you can run these on the 410 gears, and that's what I'm doing, but it, it's, it's not right um, in terms of, of really driving on the freeway, or even you lose a lot of, even you lose a lot of uh, low end when you're in low range, so you just gotta know, you just gotta know what you're getting. I mean, yeah, if I was a mall crawler, I could probably run it on the stock gears forever, but there's no point in really doing that. Um, as I said, I've got the Rough Country Control Arms on here, um, and I've had these on there for about two years, and they've worked really well. I, I don't have really any complaints about them. They're not noisy. Um, they help me adjust my caster, and you're get, you've got to adjust the caster on them when you lift them, and probably even stock, really. Um, I adjusted the caster on both Gladiators and, and this. And, definitely helps them drive a lot better so uh, but as I said I bought these I was a little questionable about them um, being rough country for the price I thought well worth trying out see how it does and I've had them on for two years now and really don't have any intention of replacing them unless they break because they've just functioned and they've worked really well so I can't complain um, I have some aftermarket rock sliders on here uh, these actually are LOD rock crusher sliders that with the step on them so my family can get in and out of them uh, Yeah, I could boat side it but that's with some something a little different But realistically with the off-roading we don't do that. I really wish I could do um, There's no point in it. The, these protect the, the sides um, They also one of the things I really like and one of the reasons I wanted them was to protect the Jeep from door dings and parking lots I just Hate when people hit you with their doors. Uh, the other thing you've got to think about when going to a 37 is you've got to, you've definitely got to change the tire carrier. Uh, the stock tire carrier is just not strong enough. I went with this Rugged Ridge tire carrier. Uh, went on really easy. Uh, it took me about two hours to put it on. Functions really well. Lifts the tire up. Gets it up out of the way. Relocates the camera and the bracket. Um, you know, going to 37s is not an inexpensive uh, transition. By the time you pay for the tires, uh, the re-gearing, the lift kit, uh, the, the tire carrier, everything, it gets really expensive fast. So uh, just make the, if you're thinking you want to go to 37s, you really do need to include all that in the cost. Uh, I figure the cost of going to 37s is somewhere around $3,000. If you include the cost of the gearing um, and an expensive lift kit, if you throw in the tires, the tire carriers are somewhere between three and five thousand dollars. So just just uh, take that into consideration. But anyways, yeah, this is uh, my blue ocean blue JL Rubicon. Uh, really like it. Have love Jeeps again. This is just my favorite Jeep I've ever had. It rides great. It rides smooth. Um, it probably rides better than just about any Jeep we have. Uh, with the exception of the Mojave. The Mojave rides really nice. Uh, one last thing. This is my roof uh, carrier I put in the garage. This enables me to remove the roof by myself. It, it's really easy. I put some eye bolts in and just use some tie down straps and uh, two before in the back and a one by one up front. Um, some padding underneath them to protect the top and I just lift it up. Really simple. I think the whole setup uh, cost me maybe 20 bucks. With the price of the lumber now, probably 30 bucks, but uh, that's a different, different story. Uh, but anyways, thanks for your time today.